Okay, so hello, hello, my YouTube family. Um, so it's been a little while. Um, I was trying to go live, but it's not quite working in my favor today. So um, I figured I'd just go ahead and record so I can get this done. So what I wanna do is a special Father's Day um, card read today for you guys. Um, so what I'm doing here is um, I am in the Berlin location where I work on the weekends. Um, it's a wellness yoga studio. And so today I am doing meditative readings. Um, if you follow me on Facebook um, at Ashes and Crystals, um, you will see a demo for meditative readings. Um, perhaps I'll post one here as well. Um, so what I'm doing at four o'clock is I'm having a special to celebrate fathers, to celebrate manhood. And so I wanted to come here on YouTube as well. Um, and I know some people can't access me as far as coming here um, physically, but if you are a subscriber, I did want to make sure that you were able to get the treat as well. So I'm going to do a special read for fathers because of course the readings that I do with the cards are all based on healing um, and not your zodiacs and things like that. So my readings are a bit different than what you traditionally see on YouTube. Um, so it's about healing. So we're gonna do that because I truly believe that men are pillars in our communities. They are headship for us and so, um, whether they are currently a father's um, aspire to be a father one day or are young boys who one day will be father figures or fathers um, to children. Um, we need to be able to encourage and edify them uh, because we as a community, as a whole, the family, all of us will um, definitely gain, okay? from the fathers being in their rightful place. So that's what I'm gonna do for you guys. So I know I've been slacking on the daily reads, but I've had some different clientele, some different things spring up in life, right? Um, Cause you guys are aware of my other page, which is all about uh, me and my children and world schooling and traveling and, you know, becoming adjusted to this whole nomadic kind of uh, mission and lifestyle that I've been given at this moment um, and just trying to live in the present moment. So that's what we'll do, we get started with that, okay? Okay, so let's get started with the fathers. Um, so uh, the way my camera is set up and uh, because I have clientele coming in in a little bit, um, I uh, can't get my camera to see down at the table the way I usually do where you can see the spread. So I'll be pulling the cards um, and just showing them to you, okay? Um, not exactly sure if I'm going to do my traditional spread anyway. I've never did just a card read for just men, for just fathers. So this will be special for us all, okay? If you're watching this and you are female, uh, please do share with your father or share with a father figure in your life, your boyfriend, your husband, cousins, brothers, um, the males that are surrounding you that are in your life. So this read is for all men, fathers, those that will uh, resonate with this read along your healing to assist you on today. And this reading will transcend into your life um, as far as needed and necessary. And we know that this read is for the greater good of us all because when men are well and in their rightful places in the healing journey, the rest of us are able to heal properly as well, especially fathers in the homes, right? Which is something I never really had um, at all. So uh, it's beautiful to get to acknowledge and edify those that are um, definitely um, meeting the mark, okay? There's some really focused fathers out here. Um, Some major intention. Um, there's definitely some men near and far who will resonate with this read. I can tell by uh, the jumpiness of the cards <laughs> at this moment. So it's a beautiful thing to get to do this. Okay. So of course you guys know that I love to shuffle in front of people so you can see uh, what is actually going on instead of me sitting cards out where I could have already rehearsed what's going on. Um, I like to give it to you raw and plain so everybody can see that this work is real, right? Um, to the fathers, to the men who are watching, I'm Ashes of Rebirth. 
um, I come along, um, our paths meet when there is a realigning, a rebalancing, a reaffirming perhaps, um, and most importantly, um, a reawakening, a rebirthing, and a remembering of your divine authentic self. That is what I come to do. That is what my readings are all about. I don't put anyone in a box. Um, I don't belong to any one um, religious stance at all, I believe, and am led and guided by all things true, pure, and love. Um, so that is where I come from. I believe in source being love because um, love is all. Uh, love is healing and healing is love and that's the work in which I work in um, in which I maneuver in um, so I just like to introduce myself that way first so that you're aware of what's going on there's some passerbys there <laughs> caught my eye Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started, okay? Oh, for my fathers, what a beautiful, beautiful thing. For the fathers and for the men, okay? This is for you. Ooh, fathers, fathers. Lovely. Oh, that friendship card was definitely for you guys. It jumped out earlier and I put it back. Okay, so... Um, I am pulling four cards today for you fathers, which is typically um, a little bit different than my general pool. So what I pulled for you guys first, um, this is what I call the foundation card. Um, this is the card that the guides uh, want you to um, focus in on, if you will. It's the friendship card. So this is the pillar card, okay? So all the other cards in this read are going to be to assist you in understanding exactly um, what this pillar card is trying to express to you guys. So the pillar card for all men, for fathers on today um, and outside of today along your healing journey is friendship, okay? Typically when I pull this card, it's about friendship within self, um, but I definitely feel very strongly that it's friendship and connectivity between men, um, the masculine energy that's needed um, in our communities at large, okay? Um, and I say community at large because I'm not real aware of the world as a whole and how that is, but within this community um, from where I stand, um, I definitely feel there's a strong tug and a pull. The guides are saying that you need to focus on um, not just the connectivity and, um, you know, between your family, um, but with other men, okay? In the sense of building the bond, you know, um, how women gather together or the youth gather together for the things going on in the schools or you know you have black people that gather because of this thing and these people gather because of that this is saying the men period regardless of your culture regardless of your ethnicity regardless of your religious set regardless of anything right the guides are saying now more than ever there needs to be connectivity between the men in this world why because there are some things that have been altered within our world um, within our communities um, that only having that friendship among men will mold and build the structure in which is needed it will give the foundation that is needed becoming the pillars that are needed within the community so friendship okay and obviously we know that in order to be a friend, you have to be a friend to yourself. And this is all about healing, but I feel a strong pull that this friendship card is all about the connectivity between men, amongst men, okay? Um, we always say that women are the catty ones, right? And so it's hard when you get a group of women together. Um, but the friendship among men, what the card is, is pretty much saying to you right now is that yes, it may, you know, between the sexes, girls are more catty and have a lot more going on. Um, but with men, it seems to be um, a concern with my family and my set only. And the guides are wanting you to broaden that, broaden that view, that perspective, and open up to the fact that this man may head his house differently than I do. The same way with all people, like we have different beliefs, different things, different ways that we run our lives and our journeys, right? That's all fine and well. 
that's a part of the diversity that is this beautiful unity that we all can come together. But instead of just visualizing, hey, this is just my family and this is my only concern, know that the same way mothers are caretakers, right? Mother Earth, right? Caretaker of all. Men are the pillars and the very foundation, right? You carry a whole different type of stance. And when there is a friendship and a connection between men, where it's not just this narrowed focus where it's just my family, which yes, you must keep that stance, but there's also this beckoning in the spiritual realm that's saying, come together, right? Because one can learn from another still, right? One can help to enhance and to edify and to motivate and to inspire the other still, right? Well, one is lacking, one comes to meet you, right? Seeing through this lens of discernment, okay? And then the heart chakra card that came out was the listening card, okay? Um, and there's a lot of blue there, resonant of your throat chakra there, but it's a soft blue. Um, so it's not necessarily that you're listening to any one person speak to you. Um, a little lighter meaning that you're needing to listen to your own intuition. When we speak intuition or we speak lunar energy, we're always speaking about the female, the feminine energy. Well, there is this energy that you men carry, right? There is this intuition that you too have, right? Because you are providers, you are protectors, right? You are the head. Therefore, your leadership and your headship in our lives causes us, right? in order to be able to uh, follow here, in order for you to be able to lead, to instruct, right? To carry legacy. You have to be able to listen to yourself as well, right? And once you're able to listen and, and, and know your own intuition, then you're able to understand the intuition that the woman carries, the feminine energy that she carries. There is a balance of the feminine and masculine within us all, right? So there is a level of intuitiveness that the spirits are asking you to listen to. And this is the heart chakra card. So this is the base and foundation of your heart, man. Okay? Needing to listen inside yourself, right? And not falling just into this box of provider and protector in this realm, but understanding that in being that, in doing that, in carrying that, honing that mission, there is a balancing of your feminine and your masculine energy, right? And we're not talking our sex, male, female, when we're talking spiritual, feminine, and masculine energy, right? We're talking the frequency, the energy of it, right? And so you have a level of balancing your own intuition, right? The feminine energy that exists within you as well. That is the heart and core of you, men. And then to guard your heart, Okay, there's always soldiers that come to guard the heart. And what comes to guard your heart today, men, is enchantment card and the meditation card. Okay, the meditation card came out on your left side and the enchantment card came out on your right side. The reason I specify that is because your left side is what is being offered to you. And the right side is what you are offering into the atmosphere, into the world, into your space, into your experience here along this healing journey, okay? So first we're gonna go ahead and talk about on the left side, okay? What is being offered to you by the spirit guides? Um, the idea, the practice of meditation, why? Because meditation obviously is going to assist you in accessing your true intuitive nature, right? balancing of yourself finding digging deeper within yourself right coming outside of the boxes and the parameters that the world's put on you right that you have to be this strong tower that you have to be this way you can't cry you can't share emotions you can't do all these different things well meditation is going to take you inside the depths of yourself right to vocalize those parts right it's it's the blue so we're talking about um, your throat chakra, your communicative abilities, your expressing of yourself, your validating of yourself and your stance in all ways, right? Um, and so meditation is also going to assist you in exactly um, what it is um, your mission is, right? What you're truly here for outside of just, you know, the natural things that we have here as far as being humans, but spiritually, right? And even emotionally, what things need to be tackled? What things do you need to begin really listening to? Because this is the heart of you. 
And to protect your heart is the meditation, right? And why is this a protection to your heart? Because it's gonna delve deeper into exactly who you are so there's a greater understanding. And anytime there's a greater understanding, then we can understand and we're applying it into the world that we exist in and overstanding allows us to offer what we've gained now to the world, our community, our family, the world at large, right? Because now we're sitting in our divine space. What you are offering or should be offering is the whole world of enchantment, meaning my darling, the way you daddies call your daughters, your princesses, the way you call your, your wives, your queens, right? This is, this is going to be uh, the moment when, when you're gonna really put this into practice. How and why? Because in the world of enchantment, this means we're open to all things, right? This is, this is um, the romanticize, the fairy tale, right? Where all the girls and women go goo goo ga ga over. This is going to be that opportunity, right? This is what you're offering or should be offering into the world, into your space, right? Um, those things that seem like the impossibilities when men are in their rightful place, fathers are in their respect, respective places, when men are coming together, okay? Building friendships, building bridges with other men around you in your community, you were offering us this world, the true divine authentic world where all things are possible. It's not a fairy tale in a book. It's not a sweet story to tell your daughters to make them think that life is going to be all peaches and cream. This is the reality, right? Listen to your intuition, men. Listen to what your spirit guides are telling you and you will accomplish that through what they are offering you, meditation, and be mindful of who is around you as a friend, right? who we create as friends, those that we decide, mm, no, I really don't think so. Why is it that you feel that way? Uh, because the guides are really beckoning unto you men to gather together amongst yourselves, right? Not just to go in the men's den and, and watch the game, cut the TV off, <laughs> build friendship for real. And how does friendship really come to be, right? Through communication, right? Through speaking, right? Maybe men should get together and start having retreats where you are meditating together amongst people that perhaps you've never seen, don't look like you, don't believe like you. And the only thing that you all have in common is that you are men, you are, fa you are fathers, you are providers, right? You are beings that are in your rightful space or attempting to get there, right? Doing the work in order to get there. And so you've come together in this, this space right? This practice that we call meditation. Okay. So it is key. So I'm going to pull a clarifying card for you guys. Um, right now I feel one, perhaps we'll pull another one, but right now I'm just going to pull one. It could be in relation to your healing. It is in relation to your abundance. And then I'm just going to pull one more for you guys. That one jumped out. So that could resonate with someone. Okay, it could possibly be only one man that that resonates with. It's kind of weird. Uh, so I'm going to pull one for the general. Um, but that one that popped out was definitely for someone. Okay. So you have one that's in relation to your abundance. And one in relation to your higher self. And this one I feel strongly is just for one particular guy. So I'm just going to read that. Um, to you and it says give and ye shall receive give and a return is divinely yours give and life's a circus give and be the divine within being bold and whoever that message is for there is a beckoning unto you to give of yourself okay not your money but of yourself you know the difference there meditate Listen to your intuition, okay? Build connection with the men around you and far off, okay? Uh, because you will begin to understand that giving of yourself. And then to uh, the masses, here. This is to the majority of you. It's in relation to your higher self. It says, spirit loves me as I am. Spirit loves the I am within me and tells me gently that my horse is okay to be of a different color. That is a clarifier if ever. Why? Because we just talked about 
building bridges with others, other men in particular, meditating and listening to yourself to find that nice balance where you're outside of the box and the parameters that life gave you as a man, right? We have these ideas of what are the, the men's obligations and what are the, the women's obligations. Um, and what the clarification is saying to you is that going a little deeper inside yourself through finding a meditative practice, whatever that may be for you and to you, um, is, is that spirit is saying to you, spirit loves you as you are right and in order to know who you are that's getting that inner standing going inside yourself through the meditative practices right through building with these other men and being able to be mirrors for and to one another right and it's okay for your horse to be of a different color right okay because we even take colors and dictate who what color belongs to what sex right things that are ridiculous when you're thinking on a spiritual level and men are going to be able to grow when we get out of all of these boxes. People in general will grow when outside of these boxes that are placed on us. The spirit is beckoning unto men right now to do that very thing, okay? And while I'm at it, if you're watching um, at four o'clock, which is in an hour, we are having a meditative reading. You can bring your fathers out. I'm sure they will enjoy it. If you miss it or you're not from this area, um, which is uh, Maryland, the Ocean City area, um, you can always book your own private session for your fathers. Those sessions are uh, $55 for a private session if you do it as a group, which hopefully you do after this reading because men should be getting together. It's $25 a person. Okay, so we're going to pull a conclusion card and then your read will be over. It's been about 20 minutes. Okay. Okay, so this one is one that I felt led to pull, which is the change card. This is the actual card that is your conclusion card, okay? So change card says, I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. You're going to be needing to do something, men, to get outside of the boxes, to get outside the frame. Um, you can start with the meditating, listening to your intuition as the cards have specified. And then this is your actual conclusion card here. It's the courage card, right? I find the inner strength to face fear with courage oh with confidence i'm reading backwards there so it's the courage card and it says to find I, I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence i know that the word fear when it comes up surrounding men it's one of those ah no no not me right because men are always supposed to be the strong towers but when we're speaking of fear know that fear is like the root of a tree and all these other feelings and things that we have inadequacies and um, lack and worry, um, anxiousness, um, regrets, guilt, sorrow, those are all just babies, limbs of the tree, if you will. Um, but to find the inner strength to face fear with confidence, this type of fear we're talking about is being outside of the box. Anything that is outside of our direct comfort zone comes with a level of anxiousness, right? Anxiety, um, second thoughts about things even if it doesn't stop you it will come with a level of these thoughts and then we have to continue to pursue and move change right because it takes courage to do any type of change right and you see this is all decked out in blue here and then this is purple all about your spiritual consciousness but the movement and the courage is going to be necessary on the things that are in our lower chakras which is all about this physical 3d realm that you exist in your natural cares and woes of the world right so that's the reading for the men. Um, I hope that you all enjoy. I hope that you share with your fathers, your brothers, your cousins, your sons, fathers to be, fathers that are, um, and men in general, um, so that we all can grow. Because I truly believe that when men um, begin to walk and live and pursue their divine authentic selves, the daughters, the mothers, the wives, um, all of us now and to come, right even us fatherless children um we grow um as a whole okay in our own homes in our own communities and the world at large and so namaste to all fathers on today um as we celebrate um what we call father's day we know that you all are fathers every day and um if you're a true father you don't feel like um this may be something that you have to um, celebrate because it's your obligation, but it's a day for us to honor you for what you do 
and even for having that spirit of humbleness okay this is this is what we want to offer to you so namaste to all the fathers um, great going to all of you in no way was this a woman trying to direct what men should do um, I come as a healer okay and I just work intuitively and I happen to be a female uh, but the guides are just giving me some information to encourage and edify the men at large the ones that resonate with this um, to get amongst yourselves and, and do some extra work um, and I appreciate all of you. Um, I, I feel men are beautiful um, and this world would not be without you. And so much gratitude to you all. Namaste to the fathers on today. We honor and, and give great homage to you all. Um, follow me on Facebook, uh, Instagram, and here on YouTube, please subscribe and hit the bell so that you can get information um, uh, and the content uh, when I get on here live or when I send recordings, you'll be the first to get notification. Um, enjoy your life. Enjoy your day today. If you can make it down here at 10 South Main Street, um, Zena Yoga Wellness Studio in Berlin, Maryland, 21811. I'd really appreciate meeting you all, seeing you, new faces, new people to add to our community already. Um, would be a beautiful thing. Um, we're doing the meditative readings today. But for any other content or uh, information about how to contact me, that'll all be in the description box below. Um, it's been real. It's your girl, Ashes the Rebirth. Remember to be led, guided by all things true, pure, and love, and all things beautiful and grand will beckon unto you.